So quite a few things dropped through the letterbox this week and so I thought we'd have a bit of a post bag. Open some of these up and see what it is that I've bought in this uh, dark month of January. This big one first. This says car amplifiers. So I think I know what it is that I've ordered here. Yeah, so this is a uh, one of these cheap 12 volt stereo amplifiers. I thought I'd buy one of these and see what it can do and they, they look quite nice. At least online they look quite nice. So we've got a bit of a manual there. There's the unit itself so it's got some you know some treated aluminium here. There's the box. It's got some mounting points on it. And these big chrome knobs. The knobs are not very nice actually but might be able to swap those out make it look a bit better so uh, so we've got left right out uh, input and the stereo outputs here and then uh, 12 volts in so at some point I'll fire that up and I actually um, just recently managed to bag some free speakers also um, so we'll plug the the speakers into here and uh, see what we've got. Next we've got a box which says string light on it and I can't remember what it is that I've ordered here. I do buy a lot of uh, lead lighting and um, especially around Christmas oh, yeah. so it's actually not lighting as such but this is these are like uh, snowflake it's snowflake plastic that you can push down over leads so I've got I've got some snowflake lighting that I typically put up at Christmas around the shed outside and um, it's getting a bit old and rusty so I thought I'd buy some of these and um, fit them to a um, another set of lights that I've that I bought to replace the original ones uh, that'll be nice for next year One says I see. What we've got here. Oh yeah. So we've got some kind of some kind of small kit here. Do you like a kit? Let's try and open this up. So it's a heart shaped PCB and then we've got some LEDs go around the outside and there's a chip in the middle LM358 which I think is a op amp or dual op amp maybe I can't quite remember uh, so it's some kind of lighting lighting effect and we'll make that up sometime on a video and see how that works. This one says expansion board module. Let's have a look. 
Oh, there's some kind of audio thing. So we've got a 3.5 stereo jack there. What have I got? MT It's very faint. MT eight six seven O D Can't remember what that was. I'm gonna have to look that up and I'll say what it is in a title here. I'll put some text up. Let's just say display times one. This is well wrapped. Oh yeah, so this is uh, a Raspberry Pi compatible display. So we've got quite a nice display there. Probably backlit, it's standing on a little plinth, isn't it? And four buttons. Oh, soldering's not very good, there we go. So we'll have a look at that, connect that up to the Raspberry Pi. It says integrated circuit module. Oh nice. But yeah, these um, rulers made out of PCB material, and they've got some some data about different uh, IC package types there. We've got uh, wire gauges here, and some data on SMD type components. We've got a couple of rulers there, a bit like uh, a bit like Dave Jones's rulers from a couple of years ago. Although this is much thicker PCB material, but there we go. Same same sort of idea really. thing power supply module all oh, right this, this isn't a power supply this looks like a st microcontroller Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's a STM32 microcontroller. So this is this is an evaluation board. Yeah, it says ST there. Let's have a look if I can see what's on the chip. Thirty-two FO3, I think that says. Yeah, so I wanted to get one of those for a while. I've got an STM8. 
but this is the, the big brother, the, the powerful one. And another thing. Ah, oh, these are nice. So these are LED displays. You see that in the shape of a battery. So you can light up a number of different segments. So these are quite fun. Don't know what I'm going to use them for, but they look really nice. And this looks like it might be an amplifier kit. Oh no, I can see there's some some waveforms on the PCB down the side here. I think this might be the uh, um, a signal generator kit. So I think it might be an 8038. So I, I did buy a signal generator before, but I wasn't really very happy with it. It uh, didn't really work very well. So I'm going to try another one. And then this Looks like another kind of evaluation board. Oh yeah, so it's obviously got wireless built in there. So this is a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi antenna built into the board. And we've got an area here for putting the headers so that we can wire things up micro USB oh it's an ESP module yeah so this is um, this is a microcontroller with Wi-Fi built in so we'll fire that up could be useful for Internet of Things projects One says electronic components. Oh yeah, so this is another little display. I squared C, I think. So we'll connect that to an Arduino at some point. STM32, so it's another STM microcontroller. So for some reason I've ordered two. So here's the two of them side by side. So one of them, one of them's got the 32F030, and the other's got the 32F103. Uh, so I don't know how to set these up at the moment. I I need to install a special compiler and tool chain, as I remember. Um, hopefully, it'll be the same tools for both of these boards. So there we go, that's the uh, post bag items for January 2019. Uh, yeah, by, by the way, Happy New Year, January 2019. And uh, I'm looking forward to building some of these kits and uh, connecting up these microcontrollers. And um, we'll do that in the coming weeks. So uh, thanks and see you in the next video.